Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial brought to you by Hami. I'm Nelson Silva, otherwise known as Moshi Bass, and today I'm going to show you some techniques for performing on the automaton, and we're going to apply those techniques to playing the song All the Small Things by Blink-182. Before we begin, make sure you are on the mid setting on the back of your automaton, and I recommend putting it to the loudest setting. So the first thing you're going to do is take your index finger and you're going to find this note right here. Keep in mind that every automaton is a little bit different and the location of the note might be slightly different on yours than it is on mine. So now that you have that spot, we're going to keep our finger there without lifting it up and we're going to place our ring finger on this note. You can probably find this note pretty easily by just putting your three fingers so they're touching and then pressing down with your ring finger. But if it sounds out of tune, then you might need to adjust the spacing of your fingers. Since a little bit of pressure is required in order to play each note, I really recommend placing your thumb so that it's between your index and ring finger. So it's about where my middle finger is, about like that. Try not to have your thumb out away from your fingers like this, as it'll be harder to press the notes. All right, so once you've found that, check it out. Ring finger. Index finger. From now on, we're going to refer to the fingers by their numbers. Three, two, and one. Three, one. So all the, we're almost there. The next technique that we're going to talk about, I call the finger roll. This is for notes that are too close together to play with separate fingers. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your index finger and you're going to roll it on its side away from your middle finger. And that's how we're going to play the next note. So this is all you need to know to play the beginning of all the small things. So ring finger, index finger, and then you're going to roll the index finger, and then you're going to bring it back. And that's the whole first verse. So far, that's only three notes. We're going to add a fourth note in order to play verse two. And the way we're going to add that note is we're going to apply the finger roll technique to your ring finger. So here's the finger roll on the index finger. And on the ring finger, we're going to roll it the opposite way. So once again, away from your middle finger. So here's a quick demonstration of the melody that you'll find in verse two. So we're gonna go three, and then we're gonna pivot, and then we're gonna go back to three, and then one. <laughs> if you play out of tune, don't worry about it, just keep going. Don't obsess too much over playing in tune, especially at first. I think it's more important with this to get used to using the proper fingers, get the notes in order, and then as you continue to play and practice, your intonation will improve. So even if you sound like it's okay, that's a great place to start. Just keep playing out of tune and get the right fingers and you can polish up the tuning later. In verse two, the melody actually goes a little too low for most automatones, so I'm gonna make a little bit of a change to it that'll actually make it easier to play anyway. So it's gonna sound like this. I know in the original, it goes like this. But for this lesson, we're just gonna make a tiny little change to it. So that's verse one and verse two. The next part we're gonna talk about is the pre-chorus. And in the pre-chorus, we're going to add another note. So 
So far we had four notes, now we're adding a fifth note, and we're going to play that note with our middle finger. So if you already have your index and ring finger spaced like so, then just press with your middle finger in between them. This is the part that says, say it ain't so, I will not go. Three, 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 three. And then we do the pivot with the third finger. And here's where the middle finger comes in. So that's of course finger number two. Two, 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 one. And then we're going to do the pivot with the ring finger again. And then we land on one. So if you've managed to play everything so far in this video, the chorus of the song really shouldn't give you a lot of trouble. This is the na 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 part. And it's pretty simple. There's no tilting of the fingers required for this melody. Three, 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 three one, 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 one. And then two, 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 three, one, 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 one. Notice both phrases land on one. All right, so now I'm going to play through the entire song for you. I'm going to put some instructions on the screen that you can follow along with. But first, I want to talk a little bit about one more technique. The key to playing consistently in tune is to move your fingers as little as possible. So when I'm playing one, two, three, you notice my fingers stay in place and I just apply pressure to each one. You want to avoid playing like this because every time you come back to the note, you might lose your spot and the note might be a little bit out of tune. Here's a comparison of what it looks like using this technique versus lifting your fingers in between every note. It'll take a lot of practice to get to the point where you have the dexterity and control to play like this, but it's a good goal to set for your technique. Now that said, in this playthrough, I am going to exaggerate my finger movements a little bit more than usual, just so it's easier to follow along. Now one last time, here's a quick review of all the different notes we learned. And now finally, here's the whole playthrough. Well, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you found that helpful. If you have any questions or any song requests for future tutorials, please leave that in the comments. And also be sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss any future lessons. Uh, remember that playing the automaton takes a lot of practice, especially if you're trying to play in tune. Don't get discouraged if it's difficult at first. Focus on playing the right fingers, and then uh, the longer you play for, I promise the better you'll get. Thanks again to Hummy for sponsoring this video. If you're interested in purchasing an automaton, you can find a link to that in the description. All right, good luck, have fun, see you in the next one.